Hey, how you doing guys? Back here with another UGG cleaning video. The first time I did it, I used the UGG care kit here on it, and these are brand new boots, so I didn't really get a chance to clean them. I just really just went on and put the protectant on it. So I've had these for a little while now. They're pretty worn in, dirty. Let me get a look at all the dirt on them and stuff. So let's go ahead and try to clean these up. Again, we got the UGG care kit that I picked up from Journeys. It was like $25 for this. Inside it, this is what you get. You get, let's turn this so you can see it. You have the first step, you have the protector, you have this shoe renew, and you have the cleaner and conditioner, and you have your brush and your little magic erase eraser thing here, scuffer. So first things we're going to do, we're going to get our brush out here because we want to get all this dirt off the boots. So you're just going to try to brush as much off as you can. Keep it all going in the same direction. Get it all over the table here. And tell you what, that makes it look pretty good, even just, just a quick brushing. So sometimes you may be able to clean your boots up without having to go resort to getting it wet and using the, the cleaner and conditioner on there. Just brush them. Get the brush out. They start looking a little dirty because... Tell you what, just doing this brushing looks pretty good right now. But we got all that done but I am gonna use the cleaner and conditioner on it. So what you wanna do is shove some papers in here or towels or whatever you have so that the boot holds its form and it's also a little easier to work with. So I'm gonna shove some paper down in here. So that way it's nice, hard, and solid there. Easier to use my sponge on it. All right. So we got that done, and you can go ahead and get another brushing now. It's, yeah, it's a little easier to brush it when it's, that's all nice, hard, and solid there. So what we're gonna do is get our cleaner and conditioner. We're gonna get a sponge. Uh, you're gonna damp a sponge, and then you're just gonna damp that sponge on here to wet the whole boot down. You don't wanna soak it, just get it nice and damp, and you're gonna have a little bit of this on there. So you're just gonna rub it into it, take that sponge, wring it out, get that conditioner out of there, and then Try to soak up and you know wipe as much of that conditioner stuff off these boots and then we'll let it sit for 24 hours so let me go get my sponge all right so i got my sponge here got a little water here I'll wring that sponge out a bit and then just oh, there was a little too much water on there wring that sponge out and you're just gonna dampen these boots up And then we'll get a little bit of this conditioner here. A little bit in there. And then just go ahead and rub that into the boots. Now we got the whole boot down. Both of them are pretty damp. Got that conditioner on there. We're gonna wring the sponge out a little. Try to rinse that conditioner out of the sponge. And just go back over the boots, just trying to remove some of that conditioner. I think that looks pretty good. So they've both been brushed. We did the clean, cleaner and conditioner on there. They're both damp. I got the paper shoved in there, so these are hard. Now I'm gonna go stick these in a well-ventilated area so they can dry overnight for 24 hours. Uh, you don't wanna put them on direct heat or in direct sunlight. Just let them dry naturally. 
and then we'll come back tomorrow. We'll brush them out. We'll put some more of this protectant on there and then they'll sit for another 24 hours before they're ready to go. Okay guys, so we're back here. It's been 24 hours since we got these damped with the sponge and we put the cleaner conditioner on here and then we let these sit for 24 hours in a well-ventilated area, not in direct sunlight or on direct heat. Just let them naturally dry by the, the room temperature in there. So they are dry now. So you can look at the boots. If you still see any spots on there, that's where your little magic erase eraser here, you can try to rub that on some of these spots to see if you if you if you still have any dirt spots on there. You know, right around my toes on here. It's a little scuffed up. So you can try that to see if it'll clean it up any. And then use that brush. Remember, brush it all in the same direction. Get the laces out of the way here. And I tell you what, they, they do feel pretty good. Now, after you wet them and you use that conditioner on there, it will stiffen the boots up a little bit. You know, they may not be as soft as when you first got them. They will get a little stiffer. And if you have some of the lighter color boots, you can't see it so much on these black ones, but if you have the brown, you know, the darker brown or the tan, when you use, when you wet it down and use the conditioner on there, I've been hearing from people that it does change the color. It makes them a little darker. So if you had the really light ones, and then after you do it, they don't go back to that natural color. It's just something you're gonna to have to live with. So if it happened to you, you're not the only one. Other people are experiencing that too with those lighter color boots that after you clean them up, they go to a little darker of a shade of a color and not quite as soft. But as always, the inside is still super soft. That's what's most important. The outside, as long as they look good, that's what's important. So we're gonna brush these all in the same direction. They look pretty clean now compared to the way they were. Got all the dirt and snow and the salt stains off them. So now, the last step we're gonna do, or actually we have two steps. We're gonna put some shoe renew on here. Well, let's get this paper out of here that we stuck in there to hold the form. We can remove this now. So now we can freshen up the inside with a little shoe freshener. Spray a little bit of that in each one to keep the inside smelling good. And now that we washed and did everything to it and it's dry, we're gonna put some of this protectant back on here to make sure these stay waterproof and help fight against any stuff that we put on these. All right, so we got that on there. We're gonna let this now, exactly like we did before, it's gonna sit for 24 hours in a well-ventilated area, not in direct sunlight or in direct heat. And we're gonna let that dry on there, and then I'll come back tomorrow, and I'll show you just how waterproof that spray makes these boots. So that does it for this video on how to clean your UGG boots with the UGG Care Kit. So hopefully you're able to learn something on there and keep your boots looking fresh and clean. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in those comments down there. Ask me, maybe I can help you out or I'll look it up for you and I'll figure out the answer for you. As always, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. My name's Jason. I will see you guys next time.